Welcome back to the channel. Winter has arrived here in Iowa. We got uh, about four inches of snow, I think they're saying, in my particular area of the state last night. So things have been going crazy, and they already were. I think people kind of knew what was coming. So I've taken in a lot of snow blowers in the last, oh, about week and a half or two weeks, um, which is good. Typically, I don't start my snowblower sales and specials on repair until November 1st and I've always regretted doing that because then I get a huge rush all on one day or one week or something like that and uh, I wish I would have gotten them in kind of trickling in sooner. Um, so people have been really on the ball this year. I started getting them in a couple weeks ago and uh, actually sold almost all that I had on hand. I think I'm down to just one or two left, so I'm gonna have to restock. But anyway, I wanted to show this unit. This is a Han Eclipse Snow Giant, and this particular snowblower, or this particular model, I should say, I've kind of had my eye on for the last few years um, as being really rare. You only see a couple of these um, whenever you're looking, and you might not have ever seen one. Um, but they came in a variety of sizes, as far as I can tell. This particular model is a 24-inch, and I've also got outside a parts machine um, that's a 27-inch. Uh, it's pretty rough, but this one is actually in really good shape. Um, starts and runs great. It also came with the original owner's manual, and I think the original kind of tag or paperwork that was on the machine when it was for sale. So that is pretty cool. And it's got some unique features. Um, I'll kind of point them out and then I'll take you guys off the tripod and show you up close. But it's kind of unique in that the auger is run by a chain drive. And I'll show you that in a second. It's run by a chain drive off of the wheel drive. So there's not a separate... Uh, most snowblowers have two sets of pulleys. One pulley runs the wheels and the other one runs the auger and you've got two handles to operate each of those. This just has a single clutch handle um, and it, if you're driving you're also spinning the auger so that's pretty unique. Also I had mentioned it has a clutch handle but what's unique here is the clutch is to release the drive instead of to engage it. So on I think every other snowblower I've seen you pull the lever down and that's to engage whatever function you're uh, interested in but this one actually disengages so the process is to start it up and then you want to make sure you're in neutral and actually it might not even let you uh, engage things if you're not but it does say here do not engage this clutch unless the unit is in neutral so you put it in neutral up here with the drive selector, you start it, then you engage your belt drive, and then go back, pull your clutch, pick your gear, and then let the clutch out and you'll start operating. So it's really different than anything I'd ever seen before, but pretty cool. So I want to take you guys off the tripod and show you some of that close up. And then the reason I'm making the video, other than to show you this, is you can see I've got a couple muffler options. It's pretty noisy, and so I'm working with a variety of uh, exhaust options there to maybe quiet things down and do some testing. So anyway, I'll show you. So right in, where are we? Right in here is where that chain drive comes through, and you can see it right there. It runs back. I don't know if we can see in there. You can kind of see the chain in there. But anyway, that's the drive I was talking about. And it does have a little tensioner right there where you can tension the chain and that drives the auger. Also kind of unique is the uh, impeller, I'll call it, is driven by the main belt. So I haven't really watched it operate, but I'm pretty sure as soon as you engage the clutch, the impeller is then spinning, but the auger is not. So really different and unique. And then another thing that's kind of uh, different is on the impeller housing, or in the impeller itself, you only have those two fins. 
uh, that are a solid piece, so really hefty, instead of a lot of those had three or four, and they were kind of a separate, each of those were separate. That one's just one piece. Um, I don't know if we can look at one of these other blowers just for comparison's sake. But if you look in there, that's got the three pieces, and they are all welded to a plate, but look how small and wimpy those are compared to that thing. And you also notice on about every other snowblower, you have a gearbox right here um, where the shaft comes through the impeller to the auger, and that's your gearbox. But anyway, uh, let's power this thing up. I'm actually getting low on battery, so I gotta hurry before the video ends, I'm realizing. But um, what I did, I had the original muffler on there, and that's that rusty muffler you can kind of see on the ground there. And that was very loud. So I went up and got an equivalent replacement, and it actually had a 90 pipe fitting originally. I switched that to a 45 just for a little bit better flow. And also that way it's not blowing on the side of the machine, getting it all dirty. So anyway, I switched that to a 45 and the same muffler but it still was a little bit loud for my taste. So basically what I want to do is just run it for a second with that muffler, and then I'm going to switch it over to this much bigger muffler. This is actually a one inch uh, muffler instead of a three quarter inch, and it's meant for between a nine and 16 horsepower engine, uh, which it's kind of an arbitrary number, but this is about an eight horse, um, so we're just going to see. We'll see how it compares. But anyway, I'll fire it up. Hopefully we don't run out of battery and see what we get. If we do, I'll come back with another part here. I'm just going to open that to let a little bit of the fumes out. Okay, so as they mentioned, make sure it's in neutral. I'm not even going to engage the uh, clutch. Turn up our throttle, choke it, give it a start. So that was full throttle, and then I kind of just idled it down for a second, um, but mostly full throttle, and we'll see how that comes through on the camera. And just that got that pretty warm. I'm going to get a glove. Okay, there went the battery. <laughs> I got that plugged in now, so it won't die again. All right, hopefully you were able to hear that before the... Uh, camera died. Alright, so we're just going to undo this. You might have heard or I mentioned this got pretty hot just in that short time. Which I'm also hoping the bigger muffler will help with. Not that it's a huge deal, but I'm hoping it'll dissipate more heat and it won't burn out as quick because I think that's part of what happened to the original muffler is it got so hot, it just kind of burned it out. So anyway, like I mentioned, we have a one inch muffler, just one inch pipe thread. So I actually had to do a bushing down to a three quarter inch pipe thread to fit. All right, it's about as tight as I can get it. Sometimes I'll put my um, oil filter wrench on there and tighten it down, but uh, honestly, I don't want to scratch this thing real bad, so I'm just going to go with that. Okay, let's give it a start. 
and we'll see if you guys can tell the difference on camera but if not I'll kind of give you my personal takeaway choke is on throttle up Okay, we'll see how that sounds on camera. To me, it's slightly deeper and just a little bit more pleasant. I wouldn't say it's a whole lot quieter, which you can probably tell, but I'd say it's deeper. Um, and I don't know, maybe it's just me that I think this is louder than it should be. But I guess the last thing I could do if I wanted to, and this would really restrict things and I don't know if it's worth it, but I could add a little bit of pipe and actually bring this down and then again curve it and have the muffler stick out here that addition of pipe would make probably a bigger difference than the bigger muffler makes um, so I don't know and something else I might do is actually look at the model of the engine and see what the original muffler was and try to kinda compare just to make sure I'm doing things right here but anyway that's all I've got for today. That is my Han Eclipse Snow Giant. And if you have any ideas, uh, feel free to let me know in the comments. I'll kind of just experiment with uh, getting this thing quieted down. I just think it'll sound more pleasant and be more attractive if it's a little bit quieter. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys on the next video. All right, guys. Just a little bonus footage for you. I did find some pipe, so I added the uh, extension. Pretty ugly, but just want to see if there's much difference. So I got it running through the same microphone I was using before. I'm going to turn up the throttle. And kill it. <laughs> we'll see how it sounds here. So, as you can see, just as loud, pretty much. If there's any slight difference, it's not worth the uh, extremely ugly <laughs> addition of all the pipe and stuff. So, anyway, I'm just going to put it back to normal, and uh, at least now we know. We did the test and checked it all out. One thing I might do, um, instead of having this muffler run out and down like this, I might just stick the big muffler right out here on the side. But anyway, just wanted to update you with that. And uh, see you guys on the next video.